So that was fine and uh, that, was, that was very pleasing. Tough looking away assignment at the City of Manchester Stadium was Martin Yol's 100th game in charge and the team marked the occasion in style, securing their first away win of the Premiership season. Lee. And evaded Malbronk, but he'll do his best to win it back. And we'll get the decision. That's another clumsy touch from Samaras, got away from him. And can they make the most of the relative dominance they've had? It's Huddleston's delivery, and it's Davenport! Well, an unlikely goal scorer, but Spurs get their deserved reward. It's a horrible ball to defend. It's not one that Nicky Weaver can come for. It's not in there long enough. And it just needs to be helped on there. There's decent pace in the ball. Davenport, I should say, just trying to help it on his way. And that's exactly what he does. Berbatov will use Garley. And now Huddleston. Oh, that's beautiful. A sensational strike by Tom Huddleston. He's over it. He set himself. And Nicky Weaver has no chance with that. I was expecting him to take a touch there. Oh, some touch it was. Found Defoe here as Robinson. And Defoe goes on. Oh, well, plenty of the Spurs fans thought it was in. How quickly can City be exposed? Paul Robinson. Almost their biggest attacking threat in this second half, the way he's set them away on a number of occasions. Dickoff looking to find the cross, it's a great delivery! And it's battered in by Barton! And City have a lifeline! Fifth successive win was secured at home to South End, but the Championship side came away with a loss of credit after forcing the tie to extra time. Murphy. Defoe. You can worry Pryor here. Mido on the side of the bar and out again. It's a terrific effort by the Egyptian. Huddleston. And Mido! Save of the night from Flahaven. Sochi. Malbronk. Berbatov. That's a cute ball. It's Mido. It's the foul. The goal has arrived with six minutes of extra time remaining. And Jermaine Defoe, who hitherto had had such a disappointing night, there on the spot to apply the finishing touch to a sweeping Tottenham move. Was he onside, though? It was very, very close. Flag stayed down, and history will record that Jermaine Defoe has scored what may well prove to be the winning goal. This is his competition, 15 goals in 15 League Cup ties. A busy December, which saw Spurs play nine matches in all competitions, concluded with three Premiership fixtures over the festive period. It's a great block from Steven Taylor, but great width from Spurs down the right-hand side. Martins now feeds Kieran Dyer to run at Ledley King. It's Kieran Dyer. Oh, what a start! The home fans on their feet here. I don't know why Ledley King backs off as much as he does here. And allows Dyer just to open his body up, get the head up, and more or less pass that inside the far post. Sells the dummy. Parker is onside. Here's a chance for two. Oh, it is two. Over Femi Martins. The man in form. The man of the moment. It's six in six for him. It's Pascal Chimbonda to whom he goes. Spectacular effort. Murphy. Deflection. 2 1. And game on now. It's the Tottenham fans who make the noise in that top corner. And Danny Murphy 
who only knew he was in the starting lineup ten minutes before kickoff, has scored. Well, he did well because I don't think he's expecting this to come his way. Steve Marbron takes on the overhead kick here, gets nothing on it. Well, I think it takes a deflection off Stephen Taylor. She had given absolutely blameless. And with the benefit of a deflection, sponsor right back in it. Expectation mounting here at St James's Park. It's James Milner, and the rebound spilled by Robinson, who makes the secondary save. Martins still, it's in, 3-1. And Scotty Parker gives Newcastle a two-goal cushion again. Berbatov. Spurs need their big names to stand up and make a difference. Might just happen here, Defoe, there they go. The front two combine, and Jermaine Defoe has another goal here at White Hart Lane. They're looking first of all for the offside with Defoe, but it's a great little ball. Look at this for a first touch. Before the goalkeeper can get set, it's in the back of the net. He ain't going to miss, not the form that he's in. Great finish by a great striker. Well, we're well into the last 15 minutes now. Spurs on course for Premiership win number seven in a row here at home. This could make sure of it. Jermaine Defoe, oh yes! It's two for Jermaine Defoe and it's two for Spurs. A little cracker from the little man. Direct football. Berbatov again plays his part, he wins the first ball. But look at Defoe, he's already on the way. He's already got Cahill in his sights, great first touch again. It doesn't matter, left foot, right foot, he ends up in the back of the net. Surely that'll kill off any lingering hopes that Aston Villa had of getting back into this game. Here's Gareth Barry, could make it interesting if he can put it in, and he can. Aston Villa have one back and they are right back in it. Gareth Barry anticipates well, he uses his strength. Just rolls Chimbonda and then with his left foot, just pokes it into the back of the net. They do well, they keep the ball alive, and what about that for a finish? Huddleston's <laughs> header. Run back to Luis Garcia. Steven Gerrard. Gerrard will get it back here, this is Cal. Now Steven Gerrard, and Garcia there, Liverpool have scored! It's a real muddle of a goal, but Liverpool will not care. Only one win from three tough Christmas fixtures, and as the new year dawned, Spurs found themselves eighth in the Premiership table. The first game of the new calendar year was a visit to Fratton Park. Steve Mel Bronx secured a deserved point against the spirited Pompey side. It's like a ping pong out there at the moment. Cranchar jabs it on. Chance here, maybe. Oh, yes! Fabulous goal, then Johnny for Portsmouth. Not sure if he doesn't take a deflection on the way in, but uh, Ben Johnny won't mind, will he? You could see the little phase of pressure that Portsmouth build up here and they take their opportunity. Huddleston. By Campbell. Huddleston again. Murphy's forward on the far side. Great chance and what a save that is. That, David James. That is top draw. That's point. I mean, you've got the wrong man at the end of the at the end of the move, but you've got the right man between the sticks for Portsmouth. This is a this is nailed on goal. What a superb reflex action. Dimitar Berbachov. Danny Murphy. Defoe wants it. Malbronk! One run! He's changed flanks. And he may well have changed the outcome of this match. This is a well-crafted goal. Good patience and awareness for Murphy. Beautiful little dink. Lovely little header. And as good as David James has been in the last couple of minutes, not a lot you can do about that. This sets up so nicely. Look at that. It's crafted. Matt Taylor's going the wrong direction. You mark men in the box. They score the goals. Basic errors for Portsmouth.